As Ethan Holiday, Oklahoma State commit the number one player in the nation in the class of 2025. Ethan, man, appreciate the time. Of course, yeah, I'm glad to be here. Number one player in the nation. Uh, not a lot of room to go beyond that. What drives you right now to get better as you look to the end of your high school career? Um, I just say just improving every day. Um, little game, little parts of my game that I can get better on. You know, just just improving every day. You know, be the best version of me I can be. I know the scouts love every tool in the box, but what do you think's that one? Love? Like, man, I, I feel like I can get just a tad bit better um, there. I think just speed and athleticism, I think it's just something I can work at, you know. I think uh, that's something I've always wanted to be better at, and I think it's something I'll work on in the future. Obviously, the bloodline's undeniable. Your dad, Matt, is a seven-time All-Star, and yet in the majors, your brother Jackson, the number one pick in the draft for Baltimore Orioles last year. In your house, though, how much was there that point of conversation? Just like, look, you don't have to live up to that. Just be yourself. Um, I think just started with my mom, you know. Like, I hung out with her every day. Like, my dad's playing, so she was just like, if you don't like it, like, don't play. <laughs> so, I mean, I think it was just a super relaxed, like, just have fun, love the game, and there really wasn't much pressure or anything. You've got your brother's bat in hand, that old Hickory yeah. Jackson Holiday model there. How much advice has he given you at this point to kind of just live within the moment and just enjoy these times while they're still here? Uh, I mean, just like the other day, he texted me, he's like, I hope you're having fun, like, don't put too much pressure on yourself, just like stuff like that. You know, I think sometimes people can get caught up in the moment here and just not enjoy it. You know, you're with your friends, you're playing the game you love, and so I think it's just keeping it simple. Speaking of uh, having to deal with those pressures that come with the last name, Gage Gundy was a guy on your high school team as well. How, mm -hmm. I mean, you went through it again with him this year. How beneficial is that to have people that kind of understand the, the, what all goes into it? Oh, I mean, Gage, me and him are best friends, so he, uh, we'd get chirped a little bit in high school, you know, just because he's a Gundy and I'm a holiday. I mean, we got chirped a little bit, but he's, He's super relaxed, he loves baseball, and he keeps it super simple. When you carry the credentials you do when you step on the field here, I, I'm imagining you get pitched to a little bit differently than some of the other guys do. How do you kind of stay within yourself and not get outside the game chasing stuff that you normally would chase and just look for the pitches you want? I, mean, I think I just stick to my approach and I don't think of it too much. I mean, these guys are competing against me, I'm competing against them, and at the end of the day, I don't think it uh, really goes into too much of an effect. Um, I think just sticking to my approach and the game I love. All right, I want to see that approach. I'm going to step out of the shot and let you take right. us through your setup. Sound good? Yeah. All right, so uh, I step in the box. Uh, I draw a cross. I tap it. Both sides of the plate, tap the middle. I get up there, get my hands comfortable up. Um, I, uh, I'm on a fastball. I can adjust off speed. Um, yeah, so I just try to keep it simple and easy. Um, slow and early, explode my hands, and yeah, super simple. Ethan, man, thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate the time. If you're not already, make sure you follow Late Point Sports on all our social media channels. Hit that subscribe button on YouTube. You'll get so much more of the athletes that come here to show out.